Hey, welcome to the first episode of this series of the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 1. I hope you brought your Bibles, and I hope you enjoy this short recap. Matthew. Before we talk about the book, let's talk about the person. Matthew was part of the 12 disciples that Jesus called at the beginning of his ministry. Matthew was a tax collector. Now, from what we read now in the scriptures, we get this impression that tax collectors weren't the greatest of people. But Jesus saw something in Matthew and called him to be part of the 12 to share his ministry. Matthew then used his skills from tax collecting of documentation and writing things down to bring us what is now the Gospel of Matthew. So the first chapter, isn't that just a list of names and the origin story of Jesus? Don't we all know these things? This is called a genealogy. A genealogy is a line of descent traced continuously from an ancestor. Now, this is not the blood lineage of Jesus through Mary, but the legal lineage of Jesus through Joseph. Now, when reading this chapter, you may see a pattern, and this pattern seems to be broken by four names. Instead of listing the fathers and the males in this lineage, there are four woman names that are listed, Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, and the wife of Uriah. These four women played such vital roles in Jesus' life that they were included into this genealogy. So at the end of this list, Matthew is telling us that there are more generations that could have been listed, but instead he skipped over them to give us the important parts. Matthew was letting us know which parts are being highlighted, at the same time letting us know which prophecies were being fulfilled. So we're finished with the genealogy, and we're finally getting to the part where Jesus physically comes to earth. But there's something different about this story. Matthew tells this story through the eyes of Joseph. Now Mary and Joseph aren't quite married yet, but they're in a very unique position. So back in those days, there were three steps into being married. I wanna quickly talk about those things. There was proposal, kinda like today's, but it happened at a young age, and normally was arranged by the parents. Then there was to be betrothed by someone. This typically lasted a year, and you would be known as husband and wife, but you could still get a divorce. And then finally, marriage. After that year of being betrothed to someone, you were now finally married and known as husband and wife. Mary and Joseph were in that middle stage. They were betrothed to one another. They were within that one year. They were known as husband and wife, but they weren't quite married yet. Joseph wanted to get rid of Mary because he was scared and afraid of what people might think while they were in this middle stage of marriage. He wanted to respectfully and privately get rid of her and maybe get a divorce. So while he was thinking about these things of how and when to do it, an angel appeared to Joseph, told him the plan that he was to marry his wife and have the baby and the importance of who exactly that baby was that Mary had. Joseph then did just that, woke up and obeyed. He married his wife and had their baby. Throughout everything that he was experiencing, all the feelings, all the emotions, he still obeyed God. Now before you leave, I want to leave you with three questions. The first thing, Matthew used his skills from his job of being a tax collector to bring us the gospel of Matthew and share the love of Jesus. In your life, what are some skills, talents, or things you enjoy doing that you can use to share God's love? The second thing, Throughout this genealogy, there were some pretty important names. Names you might have known, names you probably didn't. But these names and characters inspired people. So you, in your genealogy, your family tree, or even your friends, who are some people that inspire you and why? And lastly, what are some things that you yourself saw throughout this chapter that you could use in your life today? And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's short recap. Answer the questions down below. I can't wait to hear them and read them and see you next week.